Hey guys, it's Ashley from Bookholics Anonymous, and this is my June wrap-up for 2019. So, I think I did pretty good, actually. I finished, actually finished all but one, and I actually added one. So, I did read pretty good. Um, the one that I added that wasn't on my original June TBR was Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass. I didn't realize I had it on my Kindle, and I went ahead and read it, so, yeah. And of course, I loved that book. Like, it, the series just keeps getting better. And so, at first, I didn't think I was going to like the series. But book three, definitely, I think, kind of changed my mind a little bit. So, the next one... I put that on backwards. That I read was a Summer Lost. I, in my TBR video, I called it Summerland. I don't know why. By Ali Condi, which was a cute summer middle grade read. Um, about, pretty much about this girl. And who had lost one of her brothers and her dad in a car accident. And so her and her mom and her other brother moved um, back to this, uh, back to an old house or back to their old neighborhood where her grandparents and stuff live. And she, sees this kid riding on a bike and decides to follow him and he leads her to like this festival um, that they do every summer and so she just kind of falls in with him she gets a job at this festival as a like a concession stand person and some other odd jobs but it was definitely a cute middle grade read and yeah that was adorable so i'll get in more to that once i do a book talk i don't know where to put this the next book i actually finished finally which took me a couple months just because i kept reading other books in between is actually sliding into home um it's a memoir by kendra wilkinson who was one of the Playboy Bunnies from The Girl Next Door TV show, reality show, whatever. And I don't know, she always seemed like the more interesting one to me. And she also has, or she had, other reality shows that were just her and her husband. And I don't know, it just, I felt like reading something different. And so this definitely went through her childhood up until... Um, when she got married and had her first kid, which was interesting to learn about everything that she'd been through, and oh my god, it was a lot of stuff. Like, just, I don't know. So yeah, it was definitely good, and I have her second, second book, which I need to read. next one I read was Ruined by Amy Tintera. Had I known this was actually going to be like one of those books that had powers and where the Ruined had powers, I probably would have read it sooner. Because, yeah. It's about this girl who her family was royal in the country that she lived in. But she... And they had all had powers, but she doesn't. And so, and once her family is murdered, except for her sister, who is kidnapped by this other country's royal family, she decides she's going to push herself into this royal family and marry the prince. Um, interesting, and I definitely have to say that I liked 
uh, I believe it's Emily in the line. Emelina. And I like the prints, I like the characters, and I was also sad to see some of the stuff happen that happened. So. Ta-da. The last book I read, which, and I, at first I didn't think I was going to enjoy it, but I did. That is Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schultz. And, of course, the title is pretty much what the book is about. But I will say this. It's like some of the twists and stuff that were in the story. The first twist that I kind of, um, that they kind of gave away was like, I know who it is. I, I know what's going to happen. And then once they revealed that twist, oh, I just hit my desk, so. Yeah, it wasn't that toast. And I was like, damn. You just threw me a curveball. And then the story kept going, and the end of the story. Big. Big reveal. So, I'm just like, yeah, that happened. I definitely enjoyed the book more than I thought I would. And it doesn't shut very well. And I just, in a way, I kind of felt bad for the main character. I'm, I don't know how to say her. I think her name is Carolee. But I felt bad for her. And then things happened, and I don't know. Just, yeah. Definitely a lot of twist going on in this book, if you know what I'm saying. So, if you haven't read it, I, I recommend it. It's it's a slow start, but it gets better. So, yeah. That was my June wrap-up. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have any questions, let me know.